I'm gonna do it like this because I have stand united, right? So Alright, so it's not gonna work. Right? Either he has another one of these or he loses the game. Okay, he doesn't. And even if he did have it, I have um twin I had twin disciplines to complete the damage, right? So Hello everyone, I'm Ginny. Today I'm bringing you guys a pick by pick video, right? One of my favorite series actually. And today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a little bit of an edgy um, type of pick because it's not really something you see a lot. But as you guys are going to see in this video, when you get the right combo going, right? It gets bonkers. It gets bonkers and uh, you usually win a lot of games when, when it starts going like that. So for instance, um, I'm, I'm gonna get two regions, right? Probably as you guys already see, already saw on the on the video on the on the, on the thumbnail. I'm gonna get Demacia because it's a very very strong um, region, um, unit-wise, right? So considering that I, as far as I can remember, Shen was my first pick. So Demacia is very very strong, and my second one is because of Demacia, right? So as you guys are going to see. Um, maybe I got a little bit lucky, but considering that I picked Shen on my first pick, maybe that kind of modified the odds a little bit and I started getting more combo pieces because of that. That's kind of how the expedition mode works, right? So, yeah, let's go for the games and the drafts, right? Because I'm gonna explain everything. This video is actually very, very explained. Um, my throat got very um, dry very quickly because I didn't stop talking and I was explaining pretty much all plays of mine and all picks of mine. So this is a very in, um, instructive type of video. Subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content because I can make more of them and the more people like them, the more I will make. And uh, comment with your thoughts on the deck and uh, on the champ composition if you think that uh, you would if you would have done something wrong uh, something different um, then say on comment down below like the video if you did like the video we have a discord channel by the way a lot of amazing people there only fun people only civilized human beings there so if you're one of them then you might want to be joining us right because a very friendly community is building there amazingly funny funny enough right so yeah fellas let's go for the drafts in the games see ya all right so let's see i think the one is uh, that is less likely that i've done i should have i should have seen i should have seen devil's list before i went in and tried to do this um but i think the last the the, the one that i probably didn't do is Draven, I guess. No, actually I did Draven, I remember. Okay, so I pretty much, I done every little one of them, right? So, I think I'm going for Shan here, really. Because Shan can really get out of hand, and I've done a lot of videos about Lux, I think it's gonna be a little bit repetitive if I do another one. And maybe I didn't do Shan yet, so... There's that, right? So let's go for Shan. Alright, so which one of them kind of fits more the idea of going with Shen. I think it's Demacian Steel. Yeah, it's Demacian Steel because if it's a, um, you know, unit-based type of deck, right? Type of um, archetype. So I'm gonna go for Garen and uh, this look. This is this is looking pretty good. I think Tijuani is also a decent pick. I think Mega Keg doesn't really fit whatsoever. So I think I'm gonna go for Garen and Tiana here. All right, so what else do we have? I think single combat is gonna be very important. Single combat is gonna be very, very important for me. Right? Because I need ways to save Shen, and I think one of the one of the ways to do it is, that, is uh, with uh, single combat. And considering that I have Garen, I can really benefit from the single combat. So this is interesting. Now this is interesting indeed. I think maybe Shane Vest and uh, Le Rondouille list can be because you see this creature 
it's gonna give something challenger right so let's see that let's say that I give um, Shen challenger and I bring him a weak unit right that will not kill him so I'm gonna be be, um, be allowed to attack once more with him because of it so I think chain vest and uh, the home duelist can really put into work here even though Will of Iona is also a solid pick, but I think Inspiring Mentor doesn't do anything for me. So I'm gonna go for the Honduilist and uh, Shane Vest. Shane Vest can, 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 can really come into play. Now I have the option to go either for another single combat. I think Bright Steel and uh, single combat is the way to go. Because I don't know, I don't, I don't feel like this unit is particularly powerful. Because in expeditions, um, for instance, let's say you draw this unit later, right on the round, it's gonna feel it's gonna feel super bad, because the tough is not gonna mean anything. So the trades are gonna be bad regardless. So I think I think single combat and bright steel protector can be better here. All right, so fleet feather tracker is looking very decent. I think shadow assassin can be good as well, but. Um, I mean, these units look. These units looks pretty good, guys. It looks pretty good. I mean, Fleet Feather Tracker is pretty much one of the only, one of the best one drops from Damasia, and Loyal Badger Bear is very solid as well. Because, for instance, I could play Loyal Badger Bear and then uh, proceed to play Shen after, and I'm gonna have a pretty decent body to attack with. I think Shadow Assassin can be good as well, but um, overall not so decent. So I'm gonna go for a Loyal Badger Bear first. I'm skipping a lot of Will of Ionias, maybe I'll regret that later, but um, we'll see, right? We will see, fellas. Okay, so here I have the option to go for Valor and Fleet Feather, or I have the option to go for Remembrance and Vanguard. I think Remembrance and Vanguard is gonna be better, because these are two big units, right? But maybe I need to go for a lower curve, right? That's also a possibility, but I think Remembrance is too good to pass, maybe. But getting a Fleet Feather Tracker more guaranteed on board, I think it's better, guys. I think it's better. Maybe I'm gonna regret not getting these guys, but... I don't know, this is difficult. Um, blinding Assault means that I'm gonna get a... a Challenger as well, right? But do I really benefit from the scout ability, for instance? I think I do not. I think Remembrance and Vanguard Cavalry is better because Remembrance can get its cost reduced, right? Which is going to be the, the focus of this deck if we are going to use it. We don't really intend any, have any intention in using this card as a 6 cost, right? We intend to let our units die and then we, we play that for a lower cost. I think Jude... Protector can be good. Yield Protector can be good here, I guess. Because buffing, um, let's say buffing Garen, for instance, he's gonna become an 8 8 with um, regeneration, right? Massive, massive, straight up massive. And this is good with every card that I have on the deck because it's a unit. Um, type of deck isn't it so I think this makes sense considering that I have one Tiana already I, I don't know if I would like to get another one so let's go for a Jude Protector all right so detain here can be very solid detain here can be very solid but so can for Demacia for Demacia can be very good as well but I think it brings a scout with me but it has a shield it has a barrier, right? But I'm lacking removal in this deck. So Detain can kind of help me um, secure some units that are going to be problematic to deal with, for instance. So I think I need Detain more than I need anything else here. So I'm going to go for that. Now, Judgment. Judgment is so goddamn good. Having a one-off of Judgment, right? So powerful. Um, with Garen even more so. It's so powerful. And I'm gonna be getting a blocker, um, a elusive blocker as well, right? So it doesn't feel all that bad. So I think I'm going for this one, rather than going for Green Glade. 
um, Elder, right? Because Green Gladiator, in the end, this card is just a 1-1. One -one. Doesn't feel very good. I already have a Chain Vest. I don't really feel the necessity to go for Cythria. I think, I think getting a, a Chain Vest could be a little bit, could be quite precious. So I'm going to go for it. Alright, so it's going to be Bright Steel um, Protector because of the shield, right? Even though Windfarer can be good as well, but I think, I don't know, I don't really feel it. So I'm going to go for Bright Steel Protector, right? Even though it comes with a Vanguard Defender, getting another Bright Steel Protector means that I'm going to have another shield, meaning that I'm probably going to be able to level Shen up more efficiently. So this is going to be the pick. Alright, so here I have the option to go for either Deep Meditation to Indisciplines, which is looking like the best option in my opinion, to be honest with you. Because Mage Seeker Conservator doesn't really do much for me, and I think Purify, even though it may have its um, its place, right, sometimes it's going to be completely useless in my hand. This is a card that even in Ranked, for instance, you just get when you're 100% sure of what targets you have in mind. Um, about using it right so deep meditation and twin disciplines i think it's going to be the pick because twin discipline is a very solid buff as well okay so here i think vanguard first blade can get out of oh my god but i have repost if i get repost i can't i cannot get any more um Spells because I have uh, well, I have 11 spells and uh, 15 units. Even though um, from these spells, right, we have remembrance and we have some other, you know, clutch tools. So I think bright another bright still protector and repose is kind of too good to pass here, honestly. So I'm gonna go for it. Right. So here I have the option to go for war chef. I think war chef is gonna be. Honestly, or I can get another Bright Steel Protector, which isn't too bad, which isn't too bad at all. Because there is no scenario where this card is going to be bad with this deck. There is no scenario where this card is bad. Unless I have um, Shen, um, Shen is dead and Garen is dead and then this card doesn't feel all that good. But then, then again, nothing really feels comp very good. Create an exact copy of a card in hand. So yeah, I think this is actually pretty good, guys. I'm gonna go for this one. I'm not gonna, gonna regret it, I guess. I guess I'm... Oh my god, Bright Steel Formation. Guys, this is... Oh my god, Prismatic Barrier. Oh my god. Okay, how... Okay, um, now I'm confused. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Bright Steel Formation is so good, guys. But am I gonna survive until then? Uh, if I... I mean, Knavery Highwayman is a... I don't have any real ways to buff it besides Jeweled Protector. So I think Bright Steel Formation, even though I'm gonna be left with uh, less units early on, I think Bright Steel Formation can be clutch in many situations. So I'm gonna go for that and uh, let's hope for the best fellas. Let's see how it performs. All right, so for the first game, we are going against Mono Shadow Isles. Interesting. Radiant Strike is not really gonna do me anything and I'm, pre I I'm feeling pretty lucky about get um, drawing Garen right from the get-go. The problem is that since he's playing Shadow Isles and uh, he's playing Thresh as well, maybe this is an aggressive deck and if it is, I'm probably gonna be forced into playing Bright Steel Protector um, on this round. But I think it's not gonna... Oh, if I got you earlier. Okay, so I'm gonna be playing Fleet Feather Tracker because next turn I'm gonna be playing Loyal Badger Bear 100% sure, right? Okay. I could have attacked there, by the way. What am I thinking? Alright, so right here, I'm gonna go for Loyal Badger Bear because it's pretty much the perfect... Oh my god. This is perfect, guys. This is so perfect. So perfect. Okay. So we are doing this and we are going to attack him for 5 next turn. 
he's gonna suffer quite a bit. Because, um, as I can see from his deck, right, Mono Shadow Isles, that's probably one of his win conditions. Um, uh, Prankster. I'm gonna attack with both of them. Because I don't really... F I can... Actually, if I do this, right... I protect it from Vile Feast, and everything else is protected from Vile Feast. Because they, they're not on in, in, in range of Vile Feast to kill me, right? I have a draw mechanic, a drawing mechanic, so that's pretty decent. Now, I'm gonna be doing this in the most uncomfortable way possible for him. Because he's probably gonna block with a block a uh, loyal badger bear, but he's gonna lose his units. All right, and I'm gonna be playing Garen as well. So this round is not really gonna feel all that good for him. I'm gonna be playing Garen because even though he's playing Mono Shadow Isles, um, he doesn't have anything that kills Garen with six mana. Never glade, all right, decent. What are you doing, buddy? I'm gonna do this because I'm gonna be leveling up Garen, so there's no real reason for me not to, right? I'm gonna be regenerating, so this kind of denies him um, glimpse, for instance. So I'm gonna be giving Garen, he has seven mana now. So should I give Garen or should I give someone else? Um, okay, so we are attacking with everything because if, let's say if he gets, um, if he get vengeance, I have a counter for it. If he get vengeance. then I do have a counter for it. And if he decides to buff something... Nice! Awesome, fantastic. Okay, this is great. This is great. This is actually great, guys. Because you see, um, I can use Detain defensively as well. So... Pretty good position I'm in. I'm in a pretty good position. Pretty good position. I kind of, I, I think it's very unlikely that uh, he's gonna be able to do something. I'm not gonna let it happen. I'm gonna be capturing Garen. And when she dies, right, which is gonna happen next turn, because I'm gonna be giving her uh, Challenger, right, to kill that guy. Not this turn, but on the other one. Callista, okay. So I'm gonna be going for Remembrance here. And he can't really attack. He really, he can't really attack because I can block there, right? So he's just gonna pass. He's just gonna straight up pass. Um, Callista is gonna level up. Right? I dare you to attack me, buddy. I dare you. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, now I wonder which one is more important. I think the more, the most important thing to kill here is um, rather. I think I'm gonna go for Tiana, guys. But I need to kill that thing, by the way. I need to kill that. Tiana is too costy. If I play the home duelist, I can actually play deep meditation before I play duelist, right? To plan my my game a little bit a little bit more. All right, so I have some very decent ways to play this. I have some very good ways to play this. Very good indeed. Okay. Because single combat really puts me in an advantageous point, right? Position. Yeah, 
yeah, this is pretty decent, guys. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. I put, I did put um, the challenger onto Bright Steel Protector because I want it to die, right? I want it to die. So, yeah. I mean, I mean, he he has very tough choices to make. He has very tough choices to make. And he has only five or four cards in hand. He has a lot of mana. So maybe he has um, ways to deal with this board. I, I would not find it unlikely that he does, but... Um... So I'm going to be putting it like this. I think I'm letting this pass, really? Am I? I think I am. I can go for single combat after. I can go for single combat after I get um, Garen back. Alright. Vengeance. Okay. So I think, now he has only two cards in hand, right? And I have Tiana for next turn. So it's pretty safe for me to kill um, Callista, which is his win condition at the moment, right? So it's pretty safe for me to do it. That was kind of expected to happen, right? It was not really a surprise, but at least I delayed um, Garen's death a little bit. Okay, so let's go for Tiana. He probably loses um, right now, I think. Missed Skull? Okay, don't care. Mm -hmm. This was going to happen regardless of what I did. Right. I have lethal on board, so I kind of rather I think playing um, horns of the dragon is the play here, because I give him more things that he needs to worry about. Hmm. I wonder if I can pull this off. I think maybe I can. I think maybe I can, depending on how he blocks this. I can't. Hmm. Just by a little bit, I can't. Because I don't have mana to go for um, Stand United and Twin Disciplines. So I think I need to... I need to kill Thresh. Right? Can you please stop using emotes? Alright. This is very close. This is a very close game. I'm obviously gonna block, right? Because I have to. But I should have him next turn, really. Okay, so I'm gonna play a unit. Because next turn I have um, Stand United, right? So, yeah. Okay. I kind of got scared about a Ruination there. But I think overall that's fine. Yeah, I've won. 
yeah, Ruination kind of creeped me out a little bit there. I, I wasn't thinking about it, and maybe that would cost me the game, but that was the only card as well, right? So I don't know if, it's, if it would be worth it um, for me to play around it, you know, so deep down on the game. So considering that I have a quite big amount of shields, guys, I think I'm going for Shen instead of going for Garen. This is looking more like a Shen deck, because um, Stand United, as you guys can see, has very good synergy with Horns of the Dragon. So maybe I can pull um, some wins like that. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm going for Shen. Okay, so we're going against Heimer and. Uh... Karma, I shouldn't be I shouldn't be taking too long with this game. If I do, I'm gonna suffer, I guess. Right? If I do, if, if this game gets to the 10 um, round mark, I'm probably gonna die. I'm keeping single combat because it's one of the, the only removals that I have to deal with them. Even though I think it's not really gonna work. Right? It's not really gonna work. At least, it's a removal, right? It's better than nothing. So, I'm gonna go for Bright Steel for, um, Protector because since he's running such a late game type of deck, I need to be pressuring him. Otherwise, I'm never winning, right? If this game drags too long, I'm, I'm, I'm losing 100%. Alright, this is actually very good for pressure as well. Okay. All right, so I think mm -hmm. this feels weird. Um, I think I'm passing and, uh, yeah. I think I'm passing. This this block would feel very weird. And uh, going for Twin Disciplines to kill this really feels bad. So here I'm going for Bright Steel Protector to do that. Right? Hoping that he doesn't really have many... Nice, okay, that's a good unit. That's a good unit. I'm gonna attack with all of them, honestly. And I'm gonna pull this guy. Because whatever survives, I'm gonna be able to... To kill this, right, as a blocker. And I'm still dealing 6 damage to him, so... Okay, so now this is different, right? Now this is different. I wonder which one do I value more. I think killing um, this guy right now is better. Because I'm going to be removing his entire board, right? I'm going to be removing his entire board. Alright. Okay, decent. That's decent. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright, so stand united. Um, I don't know if it, this is gonna be particularly good to be honest with you right now at least right in the future It's gonna be 100% but right now. I don't know if it serves me too much of a purpose Okay, what I'm thinking is, um, if I play something, he's gonna play Heimer, I guess. That's why he passed. There's no other reason why he would pass like that. Like that. So I'm gonna attack with all of them. I'm gonna get a copy of... Twin Disciplines, I guess. Can be pretty clutch. Can be pretty clutch and by playing like this i'm, I'm kind of delaying his um heimer play i'm kind of delaying his heimer play quite a lot and i'm threatening a lot of health um loss from his side here okay 
That's fine ish, I guess. This is something that he would probably play uh, with Heimer, right, to get a unit. So I'm kind of, kind of, kind of happy about it. Could be better, but I'm kind of happy about it. If this damage goes through, he's gonna go down to nine. This is turn six, though. I kind of, I need to worry. I, I need to hurry. I need to hurry. I think the odds of him getting um, something like, uh, for instance. Will of Ione is very, very high, very high indeed. Okay, that's a little bit more annoying than I expected, but not much I can do about that. Not much I can do about that. At least he's um, wasting his cards, right? Instead of being using it with uh, Heimer, for instance. And if he plays Heimer now, he has only two. All right, nice. So he doesn't have Heimer, because if he did. He would have played Heimer first and then he would have went for that. This is pretty good news for me. Pretty good news for me. I'm gonna be playing all my units. The most that I can, right? So I can open attack next turn and go pretty wild about it. I'm gonna be playing Silver Wing Diver. If he passes again, I'm gonna pass an open attack. If he doesn't pass and decides to try to kill something, I still have a way to deal with it. So I'm not really in a bad position. I'm not really standing in a bad position right now. Flash of Brilliance. Okay, that's not gonna save you. Thermo. I'm gonna save my card, I'm gonna save my unit. Because he just used a very, you know, um, important card to deal with nothing right to deal with nothing to get counteracted so playing horns of the dragon right now is not gonna do me anything because it's gonna give him time to play another card he's gonna block there obviously but I'm gonna be getting him very close to lethal right yeah yeah that's okay I guess I have lethal on board, I know that, I know that. I do have lethal though. Do I go for it, guys? I think I'm gonna be using all my cards at once if I do it. I'm not gonna go for it. I'm not gonna go for it, because then um, Will of Ionia screws me up and I have no counterplay. I have legitimately no counterplay. He has only 5 health. Okay, so that's probably Heimer. I have Detain for it. Oof. Okay, so next turn I can play Horns of the Dragon. And uh, I'm gonna win on the other turn. Or I can play Tiana and win on this turn. Also sounds very good. If I play her, I don't have mana. I don't have mana if I play her. He has 6 mana, meaning that I need to block. Or, I can play um, Horns of the Dragon and uh, go for Detain. I think that's the most um, plausible way to do it, right? What's the most plausible way to do it? Wow, so I got, I guess you lost the game, buddy. I'm sorry. That's not the play you should have went to. Because um, now he doesn't have any mana. I know he doesn't have anything, so. I've won, 100% sure. 100% sure that I've won. Never lost this game. Now the attacking order is what what is bugging me a little bit here. I'm gonna do it like this because I have stand united, right? So all right, so it's not gonna work.
right? Either he has another one of these or he loses the game. Okay, he doesn't. And even if he did have it, I have... Um, twin, I had twin disciplines to complete the damage, right? So... Um, there was there there was no way I would I, I was going to lose that. So yeah, good game Good game. Let's go for the picks, right? Let's go for the cards Let's go for the cards guys Okay now radiant strike or prismatic barrier. Oh, I think prismatic barrier is gonna be the one Redoubled valor is just a little bit too much but I think um, prismatic barrier is probably better than radiant strike every time every time so prismatic barrier is gonna be since I having I have two chance but I didn't draw one damn okay so let's go for another one and hopefully we'll get him right hopefully we'll get him okay so Ash and Zed with three regions Okay, so why though? I wonder what he was going for. I think Prismatic Barrier may be good for me to kill Zed, right? So I, so I think I'm keeping it. Okay, so I have some very good tools here. I have some very good tools. Sadly, I'm not having a very good curve, but I ha I'm, I'm having a pretty good damn good tools right so we are going for a loyal badger bear because I'm gonna block obviously he has a way to stop me I guess okay so he doesn't have a way to deal with this hmm interesting so I'm gonna be attacking he's not gonna block obviously but I want to see um, how he plays this I was kind of afraid to go for a single combat there, but maybe I should have done it. Because for instance, um, alright, one reason why he would not attack there for instance, okay. So here I can't really do much, I need to bank on him not having anything and I kind of have a way to um, protect my card right so it's not particularly um, worrying I kind of need to kill him before he would do anything and just to activate my deep meditation I'm gonna go for that so I can draw more cards because as of now you know um, um, chain vest is not really gonna do anything for me I'm gonna do this because this is one way that he would kill things, right? That's very annoying, but okay. So he kind of used two cards there to deal with it. Meaning that he... I mean, he might still have a way to deal with Garen, right? He might have another um, freeze. Which is extremely annoying, but I kind of have to bank on him not having it. Kind of have to bank on him not having it. But I mean, I, I was in a position that I kind of had to choose, right? Between killing Zed and uh, killing Rhymefang, so... Having this card is actually phenomenal right now. It's actually very good. Because I'm going to be able to activate it with um, Garen. And it's going to allow me to attack with Garen as well. Because I'm going to be pulling um, Rhyme Fang. He might have a way to kill it with Noxus. Like um, Culling Strike. I don't know why he would pick Noxus though. I don't know why he would pick Noxus. Guillotine Strike or something? <clears throat> okay, so I can't attack with um, Garen right now because the odds of him having a way to stop me is very very big in my opinion <clears throat> and if he has something here I just lose like um, to kill Garen there's not much I can do about it <clears throat> okay, 
So I'm gonna pass and I'm gonna go for Judgment. If he has anything, then so freaking be it. If he doesn't have anything, then he doesn't. But if this is gonna be his play, instead of going for Judgment, I'm gonna go for... Interesting. Interesting, guys. So if I do this, this is showing that he doesn't have any more Frostbite. So if I do this, I can protect Garen with the uh, barrier. He doesn't have any more Frostbite. If he did, he would not have been using this. I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Okay. Alright. Alright, that's fine. That's fine, I can deal with this. I can deal with this, no problem. I can deal with this, no real issue here. I'm gonna be pulling um, this guy because it's the most annoying one. Then I'm gonna be playing Tiana. And it's funny because his deck revolves all about Ash, right? As it's as it's looking. And uh, by, by passing that, um, I kinda denied his shatter because of single combat. So he lost one way to level up Ash. I'm gonna do this because I, I I wanna kill this. I want I wanna kill this. And uh, that play of his shows me that he Because for instance if he if he had a freeze, right, he would have used it. He would have used it. Killing Rhyme Fang is more important than dealing with um, Alpha Wild Claw. Because it screws up with my with all my game pretty much. I'm not gonna attack with this. If he wants to trade there, that's fine. Alright, so he doesn't. Awesome. Awesome, this this is pretty good, guys. This is pretty good. This is pretty good indeed. Because next turn I can go for Bright Steel Formation, right? There is no particular way in which he would stop me. Really. And if he decides to pull me with a um, Trifarian Glory Seeker, he's gonna die. 100% sure. Alright. So it's gonna be formation time. Right? He has only one card. There's no way he deals he, he deals with uh, this board. Next turn I'm gonna be attacking with everything. And uh, I'm gonna have um, a shield again. So doing this that he just did, um, passing, doesn't do anything. I'm playing Shen here. I'm playing Shen. 100% obviously right there is no particular reason for which I would not do this because Shen is gonna be leveling up unless he has something like culling strike from Noxus that's the only thing that he may have all right fantastic I'm gonna be playing Vanguard Defender because I think he did that for a blocker, right? So I think having one more unit is even better. So I'm gonna be attacking with you first, you... It doesn't really matter, actually. Okay. 
It's gonna be like this. Um, this is too much damage, honestly. This is actually too much damage, in my opinion. I'm gonna be buffing there. Alright, that's why I did it. Now he has to block with everything, pretty much. That's pretty much how this goes. Good game, buddy. Good game, I guess. Was it a good game call? It was, isn't it? It was, but... I mean, he can survive still. He can survive. If that's the thing. But the thing is that he has only one card in hand. He has only one card in hand and nothing else, so... And I have um, Detain, right? For whatever he he, he, he he throws at me, so... I don't... I don't see him winning this game, really, guys. Really don't. So I'm gonna be stopping Ash, just because, right? All right. So yeah, that's it. Good game. I could have waited, but uh, meh, I don't know. Didn't feel like it. He has a, he had only one card in hand, so I had a lot of mana to counteract whatever he was he would play. So let's see the pick right now. Let's see the pick how it's going to go. I'm going for Shen. I'm going for Shen because as you guys can see, I have a lot of shields. I just need to draw Shen. I just need to. I need to draw him. I need to draw him. Very badly. I don't need to draw Garen as much as I need to draw Shen. Because as you guys could see, right, on the, on the, the end of the last match, right? If I have Shen on board, everything becomes massive. Everything becomes very big. And that is because I attacked with him without him being leveled up. If he is, I'm gonna crush everything because I have too much shields, I guess. I have a lot of shields. And if I get Shen, I'm gonna be getting even more Stand United. Um, if he is on board, right? I have one of my own right here. So yeah, there's pretty much no reason for me to get him over Garen in my opinion. So let's go for that. Thank you.